I'm just gonna play the entirety of Mega Man now. The software closed because an error occurred. Let's try again. I'm so pissed. Holy shit. I need to turn that down. That's that's deafening. Dylan, how is that volume? Is this still too loud? I don't know why this game is so much louder than the other one. That's good? Okay. Um, this is just gonna be a casual playthrough. Uh, I'm not gonna go totally bust- totally, like, buster only, but I might do a few bosses like that. We'll see what happens. But Dylan, you choose. Where am I starting? I usually start with Bomb Man. God, why'd I know you were gonna say Gutsman? Trust your gut. Oh, right. I have the jump button mixed up from uh, Kirby. I gotta get him backwards now. Come on. I actually don't care for the first Mega Man that much, but I want to kind of play through the series. I Whenever I play these, I just go through the series in order and, you know, number one is number one. But this one is like super jank compared to the rest of them. Uh, the other platform was supposed to spawn. That's a weird pattern I've never seen before. That sucks. Normally it's easier to get onto the third one from this one. There it is. I guess I got out of sync or something. They also make this awful noise. Yeah, this game's a lot, like, slippy, sl more slippery than all the other ones. The soundtrack's not as good and kind of grating, honestly. And some of the level design is just, like, kind of dog shit. I feel the same way about 2, to be honest, but not to the same extent. It was, like, a lot more reasonable. But then, after that, they just, like, kind of get better. I should have got that. Oh. You think seven is the? Why are you saying that? Did were you over when Yakub was playing seven? Is, is that why you're saying that? Are you joking right now? Why did you say seven? charging me. This is actually a bad pattern. You kind of want Gutsman to stay as far away from you as possible, but he like ran right at me. It was the number that came to your brain. Mega Man 7 is better than this one, but it's also one of the not great ones, in my opinion. If we're talking about just classic Mega Man, none of the other bullshit. Alright, Dylan, where am I going next? Um, you tell me. Gutsman is good against... Uh, Cutsman, because Rock, rock beats Scissors. But, uh, I'll go anywhere. Yet, yeah, the better ones are... Four, six, nine, and ten, in my opinion. Man, okay. 
4, 6, 9, and 10. 3, 5, 7, and 8 are pretty good. And then 1 is one is a mid game. 1 is pretty mid. Which I, I hate using that word. That's actually a word I very much dislike, but it's kind of forced its way into my vocabulary a little bit. It's like criticizing something without saying a single thing about it using that word. You guess on your arbitrary choice, your opinion is wrong, and we are now mortal enemies. That's how it works. I mean, that's the internet for you. Like, if we were to meet in the flesh, we'd have a perfect, perfectly, like, reasonable discussion about it, but... You know, we're on the internet, it's all packets and, like, digits and nothing, so... We're gonna scream and yell and shit our pants. Even though you're like entrenched in, a, in, a, in an opinion that you didn't even know you had until... Uh, <laughs> like you decided it was your opinion. Because that's also how it works. frustrating part about losing that thing in Kirby is that I feel now that I've tried to do it on stream and failed I like totally feel compelled to actually do it on stream so like that was a, like a rabbit hole I opened but I was gonna start bug snacks after I beat that so now I'm gonna have to wait a little longer on bug snacks what is the point if you get no point I, I check out I, I recommend checking out the movie the point Narrated by Ringo Starr. Maybe then you'll know what the point is. very clean. Um... You, you were merciful on me and told me to go to Cutsman after I told you that, like, I just got the weakness for him. I'm, I'm still gonna try and get him busterless. I can't do every boss in this game busterless consistently, but like cut, cuts cuts men is usually all right. Although I am getting hit more than I would like to. You can die after you kill him from that. Alright Dylan, where are we going now? Using my scissors, I could cut wire. That is the, uh, the recommended one, ice. That is the worst one you could have said. Man has like the worst stage. It was okay, I was gonna have to do it eventually, but I was kinda like putting it off. Also, this game uh does have a rewind feature. But I'm gonna try not to use it unless like some real bullshit happens. I, I don't I don't like using those if I can help it. At least in games that I feel like confident in.
Yeah, here's the reason. It's a disappearing block stage. And it's got like a pixel perfect jump in the block section. And it's got this little guy at the bottom that you can only kill with, I think, a Lechman's power. Here's more fucking blocks. Friggin, 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 friggin frig. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. All right, I do have to make that jump. Okay, and then disappearing blocks is one thing, but these are really gl 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 these these guys are really glitchy, and they move in like kind of a random bullshit pattern. So if there's one thing that's like maybe gonna make me like use the rewind feature in this game, it's gonna be these, maybe. Now I gotta wait for that one to get close. Come on. I could have jumped there, but I was panicking. Also, the stage hurts to look at, and the music sucks. Uh, please go back. Oh god, I forgot these guys show up here. Oh, that's really bad. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up higher. It just won't go up. Ah, oh, come on. Did he spawn the other one? <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> I saw it. Do I have... Okay, I got two lives. No, it's, it's random. It is random. I'm telling you, Mega Man 1 is rough. It, it, the other one, the other Mega Man games are like very, I want to say polished for NES games because I feel like how I feel about this game is how most people feel about NES games in general. The other Mega Man games aren't like that. They're very, they're very well designed. But I get it. This is a very early NES game, and it's like the first Mega Man game too. So they were, they were figuring it out. This guy sucks because um, his attacks do one third of your health bar. So I'm gonna like focus for a second. I have one life left. If I die to him, I'm gonna rewind, but until the beginning of the battle, just so I don't do the stage again. Like, I'm not gonna rewind specific hits or anything, I'm just gonna rewind the battle to, like, it start. Thank you. 
He gets a little faster at some point in his health bar too. There we go. Didn't need the rewind. Thanks. All right, where are we get where are we dropping? Elect fire or bomb is next. Fire. Yeah, I can do fire. That would have been very tricky to dodge. Fireman stage isn't too bad, but there's like one room in a little bit where it's like basically impossible to dodge unless you get a specific item. Which I don't have yet. I'm gonna get hit by it. I'm pretty generous with the health in this one though. This is the room. Like, you, you just can't walk between there and not get hit. What the fuck? Dylan, clip that. Can I do it again? No. The magic is gone. I've never fucking done that before. Holy shit. I didn't think it was possible. I didn't even try. It was just like completely arbitrary timing that I stopped started walking because I was like, oh, I'm going to tank the hit. What the fuck? I'll never do that again. I want you to clip that. I'm gonna look back when I'm like 80 and like reminisce on that moment. None of them are dropping health. Fireman's bullshit. It's almost, a, it's like extremely difficult to fight him without getting hit because his pattern is just ridiculous. I'm gonna go in Busterless, die to him, so you can see, and then I'm gonna use his, his, uh, then I'm gonna use his weakness. Thank you. It'd be one thing if it was just a blast, but like, it's that floor thing too that gets you. You know, I'll just, I'll just, I won't re rewind, I'll just take it and then I have another life, so it's okay. I don't have another life, okay. Now I'm gonna use his power. It's really funny backwards. Weirdly enough, fire is weak to ice. That never made sense to me. You, you know you can only name the clip that once, right? 
Like if in the future I ask you to clip something, you can't name it that again. Unless you call it Dylan Clip That Too. Bomber Elec. Where am I going? You get five seconds, otherwise I'm going Elec. Five, four, three, two, Elec Man. Cool. You're on a call? Not a work call, I presume? Look how bullshit the beginning of the Lightman stage is. It's like dog shit game design. I do it immediately, though. Dylan, do you have any clue who Dar Star Lord Sex is? That guy followed us as, as soon as the stream started, and I don't like. You know, normally, people follow for like a reason when um. I don't know. You, you do something epic in a video game, or you say like a funny joke, like Bill Cop. No, don't. Like um, I'm trying to think of a comedian that's not a fucking problem. Uh, fuck, fuck. I can't think of one. Morgan Freeman. Um. When you say something funny like Morgan Freeman or Bart Simpson. Uh... Wow, that totally made me lose my train of thought. But like, you know, they just followed at the beginning of the stream, so I'm like, curious, like... How did it get exposed? Because like, whenever, whenever that happens, it makes me think that it's someone I actually know. But I don't know who they are, because they're behind a username. Yeah, this- this is the item I was talking about. It's like the only optional thing in the game. It's not act no, it's not optional. You have to have this to get through one of uh, the Dr. Wily stages. But you can only get it after beating Gutsman. Health to beat him if I get to him. And I think I'd take the game over this time. He did it three times in a row. He, these guys do a big jump sometimes. That, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna eat that. It's fine, I'll do the stage again. They do a big jump and a small jump, but it's random which one. But you can only dodge under the big jump. So, like, whatever, man. should have hit him.
I'm not gonna risk it for that. That's a tricky jump. Oh, that was great. That was just the best. Does anything happen if I get it again? Like, do I get points or something? Or it, does it just do nothing? Nothing. Is it work related? And I, th I thought you were off, unless I misread your message earlier. Nah, okay. Oh, talking about Wolf Skate, I gotcha, I gotcha. Already? Are you doing like a replay through now? Or a new game plus or whatever? Or just a different character? Like, what's the deal? You've beaten it five times? What? How long does like a playthrough take? this guy's bullshit but I kind of got it like a good pattern going good rhythm yeah I wish I could like obsessively blast through games like that I, just, I literally don't think I have enough time in my day to do that. Alright, Bomb Man. I, I almost always start with Bomb Man, but we're doing him last. RPGs. I just have a hard time playing RPGs. Even when I really like them, past the 50 hour mark, I usually just fall off. Like, even if I think I'm having like a 10 out of 10 time, I just... It's hard for me to stay invested in something that long. At least with video games. I'm reading... I'm not reading that as I definitely don't play during work. I'm reading that as... I definitely don't play during work, right? Do I got the read on that? It's okay, sometimes I'm playing TF2, I'm on the clock. But I, I, like, I feel the need if, if I, if on the off chance I'm playing a video game during work hours, it's, I'm usually making it one where I can, like, 
just like stop and drop and pick back up whatever I need to for work. Oh shit. If I could change one thing about my job, it would be less meeting based. That way I could like actually work on my own time instead of, you know, it's basically a regular nine to five even when it's remote because you just have to be on clock because people want to call and like we have all these meetings. But like, I, I would rather play video games during the day and work at night. I would much rather do that. But I, I guess I have to be on the clock because they want to collaborate, and that's fine, that's the job. You want to pet your cat and hang out with friends? That's what I'm saying. I just want a government stipend so I can sit at home and pet my cat all day. Kristen's the one that's actually got it rough, though. But also her job, like, important meaning and actually contributes to the world and has value and purpose and all these things that I lack coding into a void. Dr. Wowie. I'm gonna check my messages real quick, but I do get paid more. I mean, that's something I think about a lot, though, like... How much money do I want? Am I okay where I am now? Do I want to, like... Because everyone wants to, like... In the tech industry, it's like... You want to move up, you want to go from... Software development to senior software development to... Director or whatever. You want to increase your total compensation, you want to get paid a lot more. I don't really know if I want that. But also, at the same time, I feel like if I say I don't want that then it doesn't reflect well on me because it's, you know I'll, I'll i won't they'll think i'm not driven which like to be honest i'm kind of not i'm not i've never been a driven person I've, I've been a go with the flow person if i appear driven at any point during the workday it is simply a mirage it is simply acting well no i shouldn't just say during the workday like it, it, like in general it's very hard for me to get motivated even about things i care deeply about but, like, I've gotten good at forcing myself to just, like, not think about it and start. The, the, because I don't find, like, passion from what I do inherently, how productive I am on a given day, and I, I again, I'm not just talking about my job here, I'm talking about, like, in general. It all depends on just, like, how I wake up and how I'm feeling that day. I mean, I feel like if I really, like, put my all into it, I could- I could get, you know, I could become a way better developer, I could be better for my team, but it's just- I'm gonna get burnt out if I do that, and I really am already happy with how much I get paid. I don't feel like I have anything to prove to anyone. This- this room is bullshit. You can do it without the ability I have. In fact, I'm gonna try to do it without the ability first. The, like, platform one, but, um, this room is dog shit. And I, I think I just- I got pretty lucky there. Did you see how you glitched when you walk off the platform, though? You just, like, teleport to the ground here. This is the room that's impossible. Literally impossible without this. You have to have this to beat this part of the game, I think. Unless there's some crazy glitch I'm unaware of, you have to have that. It's... 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 It's well 
past perfect. That's all I'll say. But it's also like... Is that irresponsible? Like, I don't have a kid now, we don't have a kid now, but if I were to have a kid, is it irresponsible to not try and, like, max out what I can do for their sake? Or is, like... I could totally, like, give someone a life that's, like, very comfortable and not spoil them, though. Also, this is, like, considered one of the hardest bosses in the game, but I'm just gonna fight him, and it's fine. It's the same pattern every time. It, with this one, it's not random. It is the same pattern every time. I might die, but I feel like I'm doing alright. I'll look at your comment in a second. Oh! Oh, got him. Got him. It's about maintaining the life balance. Yeah. Yeah. But ba balance is a weird word, right? Because you're talking about a balance. Work-life balance is weird because unless you're one of the lucky people who is like actually passionate about their job, and you're extremely fortunate if you if you find that, or if, like if you are that way, unless you're one of those lucky people, you're talking about a balance between how you want your life to. You're talking about a balance between the ends and the means, right? And does working 40 hours a week feel worth it to be comfortable? I don't know. What do you actually get like two free hours in a day where you're where you're, where you're not like thinking about work, other people, socializing, taking care of your environment, money. Like relaxing time, right? That's what it's all about. In those moments in between. That's what that's what matters. But how much of that do you get when you spend 48x hours or whatever trying to, you know, keep the safety net on there. It's hard. It's hard. Do I have lives? I have two lives. I'll be fine. And I already beat him without the power. I'll use the power here. It's, it, he's easier to fight in his boss room where you have those like elevated platforms. As opposed to here. How much depression can you handle before you decide to not be here? Well, that's a very big question. <laughs> that's a very blunt way of putting it. But, you know, de like, work doesn't make everyone depressed. It makes me depressed, because it doesn't feel meaningful, but... I think the only jobs I wouldn't be depressed in and like I'd be able to find meaning in are the ones that would wear me down. Like I think I'd be way happier serving coffee and crumpets than I would doing what I do now. But that would that would wear me down and that would, you know, not pay enough to sort of lead the life I otherwise want to live. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole scam with medical is like that's most people's motivation for working at all in this country because healthcare isn't tied to is tied to work. So, like, imag imagine the horror if uh if you could just well, I, I guess your taxes are gonna pay for it regardless. So it's tied to work in a sense, but you know what I mean. I don't want to fight it. I 
I don't know. I, I really hope that there is a future that's like more utopian and people can spend their life pursuing their interests. But we don't live there. And I'm okay with that. Because there's no guarantee that that day will ever come. And this is as close as we've ever had to it. But I hope that day exists someday. If you could live and working was just for fun, then you wouldn't be worrying about money. Also, this boss fight is like the original Mimic tier. I'm trying to remember the best one to fight him with. I don't think there is a best one. It's- that- that does literally nothing to him, that sucks. Uh, I almost got him too. The, I mean, the scenario you're talking about where people can basically just pursue their interests and, and not necessarily have to work because there's some utopian technology that like lets us do whatever. That's basically Star Trek, right? And there, in, in that hypothetical world, there are a lot of people that extract value from what they do, but it's because what they do is it is innately meaningful you know you're, ex you're you're an explorer you're seeing new things no one's ever seen before or you're contributing to you're, you're finding meaning through camaraderie is it's like one of the ideas behind you know starfleet like th there's other reasons to work in that universe and the fact it's like people's choice no oh, don't have enough energy You would be a red shirt. Eh, don't sell yourself short. I forgot I had the hat on. I only took it off because it was starting to like cut circulation. And 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 like part of me is conflicted on this because I feel like if left to my own devices. You know, nowadays, like, I want to pursue my passions, but I don't a lot of the times because I'm tired from doing the things I have to do, or, like, I don't have confidence I'm going to, like, have enough time to ever complete them, so I just, like, have trouble even getting motivated. I want to say that if these weren't concerns, that I'd actually be able to, you know, focus on my passions and, and do what I want to do, but I, I don't know that for a fact. Eventually things start appearing here. There they are. This is a very short stage. Why are no more penguins spawning? Oh, they turned into missiles now. I think the idea here is that it's like a pipe filled with water and it's pushing it along because it turned to blue. But, I don't know. Oh, I want it though! Oh well. If you didn't have to work, you would be a couch potato. I feel like if I didn't have to work, I'd become like buff. And then I'd watch every TV show ever made. And then I'd still find an excuse to not make the thing I've been talking about making for years. Cause I actually- I do find like working out to be fun, it's just I- I- I usually have a hard time balancing the energy I need to do with everything else. Right? I mean, in this hypothetical perfect world where I don't have to worry about working, I'd probably also just travel a lot. I'd just try to see everything. Um, that's not a rant. I'm assuming you mean R you mean RNG, yeah. Um, I don't think totally. I think it's random which hole he comes out of. 
but he always moves the same way and he always gets faster. So like not totally, but kind of. But like, uh, you, you have enough like time to respond to whatever that guy's doing. I think this is the last stage, if I remember right. How many lives do I have? We got two lives. Why am I not using abilities? There's no shame. What's the first game with zero? Why did you spell zero with an X? That's really funny. Um, X is a different character, and zero is like his like friend. <laughs> zero with an X. Um, Mega Man X, which is just the first game in ba basically the sequel series. Those are um, the X games are like. They're not as good platformers, but they're better action games, if that makes sense. The original games are better platformers, but the X games are better action games. They're just different things. I, I don't really have a preference. I like them both. The classic games are more consistent with their quality, though. The X games have the best games in the series and the worst games, and it's like not even close. X1, 2, and 4 are like the best Mega Man games, period. X7 is abysmal dog shit that I never want to touch again. And X6 is pretty not great either. X3 isn't great. X5 isn't great. X8's okay. I teleport before his attack even gets to me. Ah! Why'd he jump towards me? Like, one of the common complaints with the Mega Man series is like, oh, why do you want more? There's like a million of them. But there's a, there's a million of them because it's like seven different sub-series and most of them are entirely different types of games. So I, I don't know, I think that's kind of a stupid comment. Like, there's... I want to say 12. There's like 12 mainline classic Mega Man games. There's 11 in the Mega Man and base. How do I beat this guy again? Alright, I do this. Um... But we've gotten one in like the past 15 years, right? I'm gonna die here and try him again. I think I can do him without the powers though. I'm gonna try it. I'll use the powers if I get down in my last life. I remember this attack is like the weird one. Yeah. So one more life. And then next time I die all. Use the abilities. I think it's just fire. I think fire kills him.
There's a rhythm to hit dodging this attack, and I don't remember it right now. I think I remembered it. It's to, like, try and angle it out a bit, try and guide it out a bit, and then run under him to dodge it. Yeah, there it is. Which, it's, it's a little bit harder to dodge when he's heading towards you. There we go. And that's Mega Man 1. There you go. Dr. Wowie is defeated. I feel like I could do... I could do this game... Oh wait, Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wally and restored peace to the world. However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. Fight Mega Man for everlasting peace. Yay! Um... What was I saying? I feel like I can do all of the pieces of this game without the buster. Except maybe Fireman, that's like the most inconsistent one. But like, doing it all at once would be really annoying. Thumb pun. I think Kristen just got home. Grant, you're gonna head out and find food. Oh, I'm about to end the stream anyway, so yeah, have a good night. As soon as his credits end. Yeah, have a good night. Yuki Chan's papa was the sound programmer. That's really cute. They used to not actually put their names in the credits with a lot of these games, it was just nicknames and stuff. Yuki Chan's papa. Get the sound. I wonder where Yuki Chan is now. And that's it. That's Mega Man 1. Beat the game. And that's like my consolation prize for fucking blowing it in Kirby's Drew Arena. Alright. Have a good night. Thanks for joining, everyone.